short video I want to demonstrate how we can use client VPN with Cisco Meraki. So the uh, the setup is pretty simple. We have a Cisco Meraki MX sits in the data center headquarter. Uh, that Meraki MX will terminate the client VPN tunnels. And uh, of course, you know, security is really important. So I want to make sure that we authenticate them using Active Directory before they uh, getting access to the network. And I want to add the second phase of authentication uh, or the multi-factor authentication here to push notification to the endpoint that belongs to that user. Um, and they have to accept or reject the challenge in order for us to either allow or deny them from accessing the network. Um, so what we will do is we're going to use a Windows based Active Directory machine and we're going to put on this machine uh, some settings to make uh, to make the Active Directory to also act as a proxy server to Dewa Cloud. So whenever a user try to establish a tunnel with the Meraki MX, the Meraki MX will go to the proxy that sits on this Active Directory to challenge or basically being able to verify the user credentials. Um, so that proxy will use the Active Directory database to authenticate it. And then as a second phase of the authentication, that server will talk to Dewa Cloud and Dewa will push notification to the user device. So that's basically uh, the setup in a nutshell. So let's go and configure it. So this is my Windows machine. Um, it's currently acting as my Active Directory. So I'm going to go to Dewa Cloud. I do have an account uh, already uh, there. So if you don't have an account, just go and, and establish one. It's, uh, it's, it's free. Um, I'll go here and protect an application. I'm going to search for Meraki. So you see here we have a Meraki Radius VPN. I'm going to click on documentation. So you get to see the step-by-step -step guide how we enable and configure that proxy. Um, we just need to install this lightweight application. Um, and of course you can use Windows based or Linux based, it really depends on your operating system. Um, and by the way, we do not have to use the same machine that we use for Active Directory to that proxy. You can have two different machines, it doesn't really matter. But for simplicity's sake, I'm using the same machine. Once we're done with our installation, um, I need to go to my C drive, program files, and then do security authentication proxy conf folder. And then uh, there is a file called auth proxy.cfg. I need to open this up and edit it in a notepad or whatever editing tool you have. Um, there are three sections that we need to fill in here. So the first one is my AD details. So this is the same machine. So this is the same IP address I have here. Uh, I'm going to use my, one of my admin accounts to be able to access the database. And then here I need to put my domain details decorators and then I need to put um, you know of course if I'm using local you can do com or whatever um, domain you have uh, the, the second part is to use our API details with uh, Dewa cloud so we're gonna get this uh, information in in a second and then the last part I need to add my MX as a radius client to that proxy so the IP address I have on my MX is this. I need to have a shared key that I'm going to use with uh, the client VPN configuration. And then I need to choose a port that I'm going to use to listen through. So of course, 1812 is what normally used uh, with um, radio servers. That's the default. I'm just going to change it uh, to make sure we don't conflict with any radio settings I have on this machine. Um, the last piece we go to uh, Dewa Cloud. So once I hit protect here, I will get the details of my API. So I see you have an integration key. Just copy this and then paste it here. And I also have my secret. And the last piece is the API host. Um, so that's all what I need to do on my uh, server. And I hit save. And once I save this information, I just need to run this proxy uh, for the first time. So I can easily go to run and services.msc. And then I should search for Doe uh, authentication proxy. 
So you see here we have do, do secure authentication proxy, I hit start. And that normally happens only for the first time. So whenever I reboot this machine, it will automatically um, run this uh, proxy. The next step I need to do is to go to my users and I need to sync up my Active Directory users and start to get them enrolled into the Do uh, authentication mechanism. So of course, there's multiple ways of syncing your users, either using directory sync or import them manually or I can even add them one by one. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna add one user that I'm gonna use for authentication. Uh, this username has to match exactly what you have in your Active Directory. That's how we can map the users and their endpoints. Once I hit add user, um, I can send an enrollment email. Of course, I put the email address of that user and I can send them the instruction how to enroll their endpoint into Duo Cloud. Um, in this case, what I want to do is I'm going to basically use the phone number I have on my device and uh, I send the instruction via SMS. Um, so let, let's go here and put my phone number. And um, once I do that, I will be able to generate a token basically or a link to get the device enrolled and that link will be valid for a day or an hour if you like. So I hit here on activate Duo mobile. Here I can generate the token and that will expire in 24 hours. I can send some sort of a welcome message and a link. I'm just gonna focus on the link. Um, so I've gotta go to my phone, hopefully I receive a, a message in a second. Here we go. So this is the message with the link. Uh, I already downloaded the application. So um, it basically asking me to authorize the page to open Duo. So I do that and here we go. I get my um, Cisco uh, account that I have with Dell. All right, so what we've done so far, we kind of turned this Active Directory into um, a proxy as well as an Active Directory. And I already have the APIs established with Dell. I already have a communication with Active Directory the last step I need to uh, basically get my MX to talk to the Active Directory as the authentication mechanism I enable client, client VPN. So if I go to my Meraki dashboard, uh, I go to a client VPN and then I enable this feature. Uh, I do have a, a subnet that I'm allocating for my client VPN subnets. Uh, the shared key or the shared secret, um, this is basically something I can use between my users and um, the MX. I'm gonna use Radius to authenticate. So this is the IP address of my Radius slash AD. And the port I'm using is 1815. And the secret here, I will put Cisco. Remember we put Cisco there in the file. Now, if I go to my phone uh, and I want to set up my client VPN here. So I go to generals, VPN, and then I add a configuration, it has to be L2TP. Um, description can be anything. And the uh, server here, I can put the IP or the domain name. So every MX has a unique domain name that you can use. And whenever the IP is changed, it will automatically change. Uh, my account here will be admin. The password is the password of my account. So this is the AD credentials. And then here is the secret that I already put in my MX, which was Meraki12345. Uh, so that's all the configuration I need on my phone on my MX. So once I hit connect, I hope I get push notification from Duo. So now it's trying to authenticate me with AD. I, as you can see here, it asks me to uh, do the two factor authentication once I hit approve. Um, now I'm connected and if I go check the IP, you can see here we're using the IP from the MX. I hope that helps uh, to get a better understanding how to use uh, Meraki MX as a client VPN uh, concentrators, uh, as well as using two-factor authentication to authenticate users. Thanks a lot for tuning.